Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very special guest all the way from Israel is Dr. Mordecai Kadar. He spent 25 years in Israeli uh, military uh, in the intelligence division as a lieutenant colonel, now retired. He has a PhD from Bar Ilan University where he lectures even today and uh, is going to enlighten us in English uh, on what's going on in the Middle East, especially in Iran. He speaks a number of languages, none of which I would understand, so we're going to do this in English. Welcome, Moti. It's my pleasure and my honor, Barry, to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. So let's talk about what is going on in Iran. Every single day, there's another terrorist attack, or so we think. Things are blowing up all over the country. Let's start out at what happened in June. Uh, there was a huge explosion at Parchin military complex. What is the significance of this location? You should say a military uh, program. Because a nuclear program, you know, many countries have with uh, power stations and things like this. But, and this is okay. And what they had is a military a, a nuclear program, which actually they committed themselves not to have by signing the NTP uh, treaty, non-proliferation non -pro treaty, which actually banned any activity in this vein, but they couldn't care less about their signature and they did advance in their uh, military uh, nuclear program. So this should be emphasized. Tell us, Moti, what did happen June 26 in Parchin, Iran? What happened in, in uh, June 26 in Parchin is yet to be revealed. Uh, what you see from the space, that there is um, uh, some space on the ground which uh, had some kind of a fire. And, but this is not what happened. What happened is deep inside the ground, under the mountain, uh, and, and the estimation is that they had inside the mountain um, some kind of a facility which blew up in the ground, down there. And, um, you know, according to, the, to physics, if you have an explosion in the open air, the, the, the impact is reduced uh, uh, around, the, around the place of the, of the uh, blast uh, in like a three power uh, dimension. Means if you stand uh, nine meters, it will be nine times nine, nine, ti nine times nine because of the spreading of the impact. However, if the impact is inside the ground, it doesn't have where to run away to. And it devastates everything which is inside the ground in that compound. And this is actually what happened. What you saw outside, the everybody saw this fire. This came out like one or two seconds after the blast, after it devastated everything under the ground. And they had some kind of a fire. Uh, uh, to burn some uh, weeds or whatever, and and th and this is what happened, uh, and and the the blast actually shook Tehran, although it was like thirty kilometers, like twenty miles from Tehran, houses were shaking as if it was a, a an earthquake, and not not to mention what they they saw in the in, in the air, so uh, something very important and very explosive, uh, 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 devastated something which the world does not know what. I mean, of course, there are some people who know. Those who arranged this blast, they definitely know, and they succeeded to stick into that place. Who knows how many tons of explosives in order to get rid of the whole facility. Okay, so this is what happened. Moti, why is Iran's regime concealing the information? Of course, the Iranians conceal it. They don't reveal what was there because it was illegal. Whatever they had there was illegal. And just to remind you, uh, this uh, uh, facility in Parchin, the IEAE uh, uh, already announced that they want to go there and to check things. But the Iranians constantly did not allow them 
to have any inspection in that location. And they know why. Okay, so here it is. On one side, they don't allow any inspection of the place. And on the other side, a big explosion devastates the place. So you can imagine what might have happened there. Quite a summary. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report. And a special thank you to Dr. Mordechai Kadar. I would advise all of our viewers to go check out Dr. Kadar on YouTube. Just put in Mordechai Kadar and you'll see a zillion videos that he's created over the years from major networks around the world. And you'll learn more about his research and opinions. I urge you to check it out. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet to our uh, text message alerts, please take out your cell phone in the United States only and text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. You'll be automatically subscribed to our text message system. You'll see this and all of our videos on your cell phone for free, and all you have to do is look down into the palm of your hand. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.